All right, guys, so today we're gonna be hanging these picture frames that I got a while back. And so actually when we were building this house, I purposely created, left this big blank wall back here because I knew that that's what I wanted to do with it, was basically fill it up with family pictures. This is a great way to add character to any blank walls in your home. And I actually have had these pictures made since 2020, like early 2020. It's important to have a vision for your gallery wall. Do you want an eclectic gallery wall that has different pieces that reflect who you are? Or do you want a gallery wall comprised of family pictures that you can finally get some of those pictures off your phone and on a wall? So it's important that you either arrange them on the floor or on the actual wall that you want to put them on. Use blue tape, whatever you need to, to make sure it looks the way you you want before you start putting holes in your wall. I had these pictures made with Smallwoods. I believe their name is Smallwoods. So here are the frames. They came in a really big box and they were packed really well in bubble wrap. Um, so, and I've had these stored since early 2020 and they still look absolutely perfect. Select a frame style that really plays to your taste and the design in your space. You can use different frame sizes and frame colors, but try to remain in the same one or two geometric families. So for example, you can use all squares, you can use all rectangles, or you can use squares and rectangles. You can also mix colors if you want to. I do recommend doing contrasting colors if you choose to do that. So for example, black and white frames um, on the the same wall. If you're looking for more of that clean modern look, I do recommend frame uniformity. So using the same frame color for all the pieces that you hang. But if you are in doing an eclectic wall, for example, you can definitely mix things up a little bit more there. But at the same time, you don't want to do too much to where it's no longer cohesive. We start by finding the center of our wall because it is easier to start from the center and work your way outward. The direction on our frame says to hang it with two nails, so we're making sure our nail holes are leveled prior to us putting the holes in the wall. I can't stress enough just how important leveling is. The last thing you want is to get all of your pictures put up and come down and realize that they're crooked. So you don't just want the picture to be leveled to itself, but you also want it to be leveled in respect to the other if you are putting your pictures in a row. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. And for those that are returning, welcome back. My name is Mary and the brave soul on the ladder is my wonderful husband, Dio. If you are interested in all things DIY, home decor, real estate, and just lifestyle pieces in general, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Consistent spacing is key when creating the perfect gallery wall. We recommend anywhere from one and a half inch to three inches of space between each frame that you put up. So depending on the size of your wall, you can go a little bit smaller in terms of spacing or a little bit larger. We are actually using two inches between every frame that we put up. Some sort of spacing is also recommended along the four corners of your wall. Don't plan for your frames to go right along the edge of the wall. You want to leave space on each side and on the top and the bottom. Because if you put the frames right along the walls, you kind of lose the perspective of the wall. And once the wall is lost or overpacked, the gallery wall really becomes overwhelming. Thank you. 
Scale is a really important element that is sometimes forgotten. So the size of your images versus the size of your wall. Think about it, for my wall size, if I was putting up all four by six photos or eight by 12 photos, it would take a lot of pictures to put the gallery wall together and it would look completely overwhelming and just too much. So depending on the size of your gallery wall, that will determine the size or the scale of the pictures that you wanna purchase or the frames that you wanna have printed. Gallery lights. This is an additional step to adding that touch of elegance to your gallery wall and just making it perfect. Now you can select gallery lights that match the style of your home and you can use it as mood lighting and it is just, it, like I said, it adds that extra bit of touch to the space that just makes it absolutely beautiful. Drum roll please. Look at that. This is probably my favorite spot in my entire home. I love the way the gallery lights play off the wood tones and I love how everything ties together with the furniture in our entryway. This is always a place that people stop when they visit our home and just admire the pictures on the wall and admire how well it was put together. And it's so easy and you can absolutely do this on any blank wall in your home. So if this is something you're considering, let me know what kind of picture frames or if you know of anywhere else that you can order really cool frames from, um, let me know in the comments. All right guys, so here's a view of the wall in respect to the rest of the space. I really like how those wood tones tie together and I actually use the same gallery lights that I used on the picture wall above the fireplace. Absolutely stunning. My goal for this gallery wall was really to tell a, pic, tell a story versus to keep adding pieces. So when I was planning the wall, I knew that I wanted to tell a story from getting married to our kids being born to their first birthday. Those memories that, you know, as the years go by, you tend to forget. I really wanted to capture it on this wall so that it's just in our faces all the time and we can continue to relive those moments. I love how it turned out. I love how all of the details we've added to the space are really tying together and making it feel more like home. Guys, if you're considering doing this in your own home, you love it, you hate it, you have any questions, don't forget to leave those in the comments. If you haven't seen the video on how we transform the rest of the entryway, don't forget to go back and take a look at that. Until next time, guys, joy fam.